Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft Survival. In the last episode we have finished the outside, the exterior of our cozy cabin and I wanted to finish the interior of camera but uh, I got interrupted. As you can hear and as you can see also in the subtitles there are pillagers outside and they are up to no good. So we need to find them and we need to teach them a lesson. Let's go ahead and there is one. Come on. We can take him out definitely. Yes, we can. Perfect. We have made an advancement. Voluntary exile. Interesting. And there's more of them. There's more of them. And you know what? There are more advancements to be had as well. This was a captain, by the way. Uh, oh, and there's a llama as well. What the heck? Where did you come from? <laughs> All right, we have also this guy. What do you know? All right, let's put uh, some stuff away. Uh, actually, let's keep it. We have 12 arrows and let's also put that in our hot bar. Now let's talk to this guy. You are not welcome here, trader. Uh, you have uh, usually pretty stupid trades. How about this guy? Bubble coral block, slime ball, nautilus shell, weed seeds, poppy and podzol. Okay, you are useless as usual. <laughs> but we need to concentrate on these guys. Uh, what we want to do is we want to kill them with uh, a crossbow. Because uh, that is actually an advancement we can make. So let's... Uh, Kill this one just like this and deal with the last one by charging and loading up our crossbow and releasing it on this guy right away. <laughs> and we made two advancements, not just one. One is called Old Betsy, I think that's for just firing this thing. And the other one is uh, for killing a pillager with a crossbow. You can see that I was able also to pick up my... Um, my arrow and that's because if you have a crossbow with at least one level of uh, piercing on it the bows actually pierce the enemies and shoot right through them and end up in the ground and you can pick them up so we still have 12 arrows and I picked up also one crossbow from that guy which is pretty funny which is pretty funny I have to admit so yeah three three new advancements mate we can call it an episode now <laughs> we can call it an episode what I also want to do is probably sleep in just a moment I have also shears here which I made off camera and I want to use them to uh, maybe shear some of these guys you want to come closer to me if I do this will you come closer to me all of you, thank you very much. And now shear all of them. Also you, yes, also you. Bam, bam, that's pretty cool. I need some kind of automated system to pick them up. Oh, I now fell down. Okay, it will be very difficult to get out, I assume. But we'll try it. Now, when nobody's looking, yes, we made it. Okay, and we definitely need to sleep. I have an extra bed right here for emergency cases like this one. <laughs> Pretty big brain move, isn't it? Anybody spawned? I don't think so. Well, one. You die. Please. Thank you very much. Anybody else? Nobody? Nobody. Okay. So let's uh, let's go shear some sheep again. Whoops, not what I wanted to do. Really? Ah, yes, right click, of course. I always mistake right clicks and left clicks and things like that, which is fine, I guess. These guys, by the way, get their wool back in an, at an incredible rate, you know, like... I just sheared that guy and that guy, you know, and they are getting their wool back immediately. Now everybody's sheared, but if we wait for two seconds, look at that. Some more. So you can shear them forever and ever and ever. Now everybody come back so that I can go out somehow. 
and you don't follow me, okay? Thank you very much. Let's put this back and the shears back as well. And now we have a lot of white wool. We can use it later on. For now, we are fine. Uh, what else do I want to do? Ah, yeah, I want to get rid of this uh, stupid bad omen effect, which you can see on the right hand side here, because, um, you know, I want to actually go exploring in this episode. We haven't explored our world almost at all. And having a bad omen is not good if we were about, you know, to find a village or something like that. Um, these pillagers would go pillage the village and that's unacceptable. So how can you heal when you're poisoned by a cave spider, when you're poisoned or slowed down or whatever by a witch and when you have a bad omen? Just drink some milk. Bam, there we go. That's it. That's all it takes. Just a little bit of milk and everything goes away, as you can see. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. Let's refill on milk uh, as well. And um, we need to figure out what do we want to do during our adventures. I have made a lot of interior improvements, as you can see, but uh, I will tell you more about that. Uh, at the end of the episode, I want to start uh, with some interesting stuff maybe and finish with uh, a little bit boring stuff showing you what I did off camera. Okay, let's make two more chests actually. I want to also move some more stuff over here from this area. All this stuff actually should go over here except for wool. I think I'll leave the wool as a building block in here, but the rest can definitely go into this random, random chest, which will have just all this junk stuff. Okay, here we have arrows and also this ominous banner, why not? The milk can also go here and the other buckets. Yeah, the tools will go there. The torches over here, more tools, more weapons, even armor will be here, I guess. That glass, I think glass we will still put somewhere else. More weapons and tools, armor on the top and home improvement things like chains and lanterns over here. Yeah, I think that's fine. So let's take all of that and all of that and Put it back here. That's more wool, yes, and more glass and glass panes. Yeah, I think we can we can do it like this. Okay, wool on this side and glass here, and everything wood related will be on this side. Yes, yes. Okay, very good. So. What else do I want to do? We want to prepare for that adventure, right? So I want, I have 29 levels. I have checked off camera what I want. Um, and I do want uh, diamond pickaxe because we are able to enchant something. We can't do level 30 efficiency four, which would be probably best, but uh, I found that we have also silk touch over here. So I want to take that. And we get Silk Touch and Unbreaking Free, which is a nice bonus. So that's pretty cool. We'll check the other enchantments at the end of the episode, I guess. So let's also take uh, our extra Iron Pickaxe here and put it in this slot. Also, the crossbow can stay here. You are fine. Uh, this one, where do we put our... Probably should have put it here. Now when I think about it, yeah, the tools and armor should have gone there. Does that matter? What else would I put over on this side? We have wood and wool. And then we have smelted ores. And over here we could have other junk. <laughs> I'll... I'll think about it. Maybe the tool should really go there. Yeah, let's uh, let's 
let's take everything back and position it there. Sorry that I'm doing this on camera, but uh, you know, can't help it. So home improvement stuff was here, right? And then buckets and things like that were here. Then we had tools and then we had weapons and armor and more weapons. And that's it for now. So not so bad, it only took a minute. We do need item frames and things like that, but okay, let's not uh, worry about that too much. We have also a diamond pickaxe, which needs repairing. Uh, people told me in the comments that I should be repairing stuff and not uh, losing the enchants by creating new ones, but I have looked it up and repairing stuff is not very profitable. It's profitable maybe once, but after you repair once, it kind of became uh, too expensive and not worth it. So let me show you. Uh, we have uh, about 20% left on our diamond pickaxe and you can put it here and use uh, a diamond to repair 25%. So you need four diamonds to fully repair. I am using three and we are just not enough for a full repair. So new pickaxe is three diamonds, repair is four diamonds. So that's already a bigger cost. Then you need even to count in the enchantment cost. So I will lose three levels. And uh, then you also need to count in, and that's the important bit, that each time we repair the enchantment cost gets higher. So next time we do the same repair, it will cost like six levels, then nine or 12 even maybe, I don't know, but it gets very expensive with time. So repairing once, is kind of okay. Repairing twice is expensive and repairing three or more times is just not worth it. It's just not worth it. Let's spend one more level and also call our pickaxe worker pickaxe. And yeah, it's almost fully repaired. So that's, that's pretty cool. I, I like it. Repairing once makes sense, but repairing more than that doesn't. Okay, so do I put more stuff here or do I put it in this random chest? I think I'll just put a random junk over here and the stuff that we actually want to keep, I will put it over here. So during the exploration, we'll probably not need silk touch. We'll most likely not need fortune pickaxe either. Smite or knockback. I will try to I will try to not get hurt anyway, so let's put the smite over there as well. We might need a diamond pickaxe and we might actually need also a diamond shovel or just a, an iron shovel if I have one. Yes, let's take the iron shovel. Uh, so we have the tools. We will need a bucket of milk probably in case we run into problems. I don't think we'll need a bucket of water. We do need steak. Uh, we may need dirt. I will not need torches, but I think this is fine. We will not need dirt though. Or we will not need cobble. Yeah, we will not need cobble for anything. So let's put the cobble into the cobble chest and take the book and quill. And we will also need, yes, we will also need a bed. And we will also need what else? Well, we'll need maps. We'll get to that in a minute. We may need a boat as well. Let's see if I can do that. A boat is like this. I'll need one boat anyway, so we might as well do it now. Okay, and then uh, yeah, now I think it's time to do the maps. So we will need paper, but we will need more paper than that. <laughs> So our paper reserves are here, I think. Let's create as much as there is. Okay, we can also feed the cows. What, what is the time? Okay, we need to sleep. And I just got rid of my bed. That was a smart move, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, let's sleep on it not make the same mistake again. Take the bed with us and uh, we have the paper. 
And what I want to do is a couple of maps. Now, to do the maps, we first need compasses. So we will need uh, iron and redstone. And I want to do a grand total of eight maps. Uh, so we will need a compass. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thank you. And we will need a map. We have a new recipe now. Map like this. Also eight. Bam. Eight empty maps. And what we want to do is keep four maps that are kind of zoomed in and four maps which are fully zoomed out. The four zo fully zoomed out maps we will use for, you know, mapping the whole world and four maps that will be zoomed just twice we will use to map the immediate surrounding of our base, basically uh, what's close to the, to the cozy cabin. So that's fine. And we can use the crafting bench to expand the maps, but um, we should actually use uh, uh, the cartography table because that's, uh, that's cheaper. So take the empty map. Oh, we cannot put an empty map there. Right, I see. So what we need to do... Yeah, so what we need to do is actually... Just do this one by one, maybe. Yeah, let's leave the six maps over here. And now I need to first initiate the maps so that uh, so that they are not empty maps, but they are maps level zero or something like that. So put it here, use it. And now we have a map, right? It shows the cozy cabin on the on the bottom there. You see the red. Uh, you see the red um, lava pool there as well. This is one to one. So each pixel corresponds to one tile. This map is useless for us because, you know, it doesn't map out much. So what we need to do is to increase the size of it. And that's what we can do by putting it into a cartography table. And for the cost of one paper, we can expand it. See, we will have so much more space. Uh, you can do this also on the crafting table, but it costs a lot more. So I will put in two papers so that I get twice the expanded size, right? One. Uh, actually, let me also have a look at it right now. So now it is a little bit bigger, but still, you know, not too big. I think I want to make it one bigger still. Yeah, I want to make it one bigger. So put the empty map over here and I don't want to copy it. No, not the empty map. I want the paper, right? Paper. Yes, I want to take this and make it bigger. Yes, here. And now this is... Uh, this is decently zoomed out. This will be for our immediate surroundings. Yes. Okay. But for the mapping of the whole world, we want to initiate another empty map like this. And this time we want to zoom it out uh, four times, the maximum zoom. So one, two, three, four. Once like this. Second time, third time, and fourth time. If you wanted to do this on the crafting table, it would cost you like eight times four, 32 paper. On the cartography table, it only costs uh, uh, four paper. So yeah, now we can take both of them and see how it looks like. So this one is the smaller one. Let's put that into offhand and this one in, in the hand. Yes, 
And this looks like, uh, yeah, the left hand side is the immediate surroundings of the base and uh, the fully zoomed out one is on the right hand. And we can just walk with both of those maps and try to fill in, well, basically everything, right? Which is what we'll try to do. Okay, pretty cool, pretty cool. I like it. So keep that there, put this one away for now. And we can put uh, iron ingots and the redstone back. Uh, we can take that. Probably don't need milk. Let's put the bed in there. Probably don't need that too soon. Let's take the oak boat. Uh, you can come here, milk. The paper is also not needed, so let's put the paper away. The map will be in here. I don't know if I will need the dirt or not. Uh, what did I want to do with the wheat? Kind of don't remember. <laughs> kind of don't remember. So do we have everything? Our armor is almost done. Four, but we have... Probably we need some no we will have we will have oak logs everywhere around us. So torches, boats, a bed. Oh we need banners. We need banners so that we can um, put stuff uh, put put um, placeholders on the map, yes. So white wool and a stick. Good. We have a lot of wool somewhere here and a lot of sticks as well. Well, we don't need too many. And let's do banners, right? I hope the banners stack. We, I do have only white banners, but it will do. I can probably replace them later if, if need be. And I can name the banners as well. I don't know exactly how the banners can be named, but... Uh, yeah, they do stack. Okay, so let's do like five banners. Yeah, that should be enough. Excellent. So here. Okay, now put the wool back, put the things back. Do I need signs? No, I don't think so. Yeah, this is this is kind of enough, right? Kind of enough. Yes. Okay, so since I have this on my hot bar already, let's go to the poor cows and try to feed them before we go on the adventure. Some of you are in the way, you know that? Come on cows, you can do it. See, that's much better. Okay, finally that works. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Love it. More leather for us. Put that over there. A bed in here. Uh, do I need to do anything more? This guy is useless. I don't think I need to do anything more. So let's take the sword out and we want to go first a little bit to the south so that our corner of the map gets filled in a little bit. And then we turn east, I believe, and continue there. Yes, yeah, so the corner is fully filled. Uh, this way there's water, as we can see. So let's go this way. Yeah, let's go that way. And we need to actually take out the second map as well, this one. Yeah, this one is a lot smaller, a lot smaller, but I think we need to do it like this, yes. Okay, very cool. So what are we gathering on our adventures? That's a good question. Uh, do I swim through this or should I, should I take a boat? I think I should have taken a boat, <laughs> but let's swim for now. And as soon as uh, we hit another river or another 
swamp biome will take out the boat. Okay. So as you can see on the left hand side, the map is getting filled in and we are going in the direction of these huge mountains. We also want to pay attention to anything else that we can see, but I don't see too much. So let's continue. I want to run as well as much as possible. Maybe we can avoid the mountains and I think I will be picking up some flowers. Uh, for different kind of dyes, you know, they can give you all kind of colors from these flowers. We don't need many, like let's take 10 of each, that's 8, 9, that's fine, I don't see any more. And we can also take the blue ones, you know, for the blue dye and so on. And I think now we need to sleep. <laughs> now we definitely need to sleep. Okay, and we wanted to go this way, right? Where was that? Uh, came from here, and we wanted to avoid that kind of yeah that that thingy. Let's take the yellow ones as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Should be enough. Let's pick them up. 11 maybe. Okay. Uh, a few more white ones. Oh, that's a different one. Yeah, that's the azure uh, flower. Nice. <laughs> and a little bit more of these. So what we are also after is uh, new kind of wood, you know, the spruce, the dark oak and, and things like that so that we can improve the interior of the cozy cabin a lot more because currently it's kind of dull. The ceiling, the roof and, and, and the floor look alike and I do not like it that way. So we will take the dyes and we will take different kinds of wood as well. Do I see any different wood? I don't think I see any different wood. These blue thingies, did we take them already or, or not yet? Oh, we took a few, okay, but let's, let's take a few more. We have only five, so a couple more, I will do. We don't need too many because we can dye our sheep and they will then, you know, produce that color of wool, which is amazing. Okay, let's go this way. This is the way we need to go. Okay. So over here, <laughs> just avoid. The, oh, you see what I see? You see what I see? Well, first a cavern, but also a beehive. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Bam. Bees plus cavern. And it is 14072. 140.72. And we have found bees, people. That is amazing. That is amazing. Yeah, this is probably the flowered forest. That's a bee nest and we are in plains. Oh, this is not a flowered forest biome, but fine. I can work with that. So we still needed to go here. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> I guess we need to climb the mountain. I guess we need to climb the mountain. What's the easiest way to climb the mountain? Come on, you can do it. Thank you very much. Oh, and there's more mountain where that came from. OMG, that's a steep drop. Wow, that's like Himalayas. And look at that poppy over there. How does it grow over there? It's basically snow level. Hmm. So I still need to go this way. Kind of can drop. I can drop over here. 
I think. Can probably drop over there. Yeah, let's drop down. Perfect, and now we can drop over here. And now we can continue this way, but there's just more mountains. There's just more mountains, nothing else. Hmm. I could take some sand, but uh, for now I think let's just keep exploring. Yeah, that's a tiny cave. A river, more mountains, more mountains, interesting. Okay, and we are almost at the edge of our immediate surroundings map. And over there, ooh, look at that, we have uh, birch, we have dark wood as well. Okay, I like it. Let's take some birch saplings, shall we? I think, ouch, I think over here we can dig a few of them uh, or chop a few of them down and uh, get the saplings. So where were we? This one and the other one. Maybe these two. They are all connected. That's not so cool. Let's chop down all of them so that they start decaying on themselves on their own. Oh, I love this efficiency axe. That's beautiful. <laughs> one, two, three, four. And over here. And also this one. Like that. Perfect. And one more. I hope that should be enough to give us some saplings. Is this connected? No, this is not connected. This is all connected though but it should be doable. This one is decaying. It's not connected over here, not connected over there. This is connected together and it is connected to this one, but we can, we can break it. Yeah, now it should not be connected at all. Excellent, excellent. Okay, this one, was this a tree as well? I think it was a tree. That's fine. We can, we can help them a little bit like this. Perfect. And uh, now saplings, right? There's one. How many do we have? Four birch saplings. Okay. There's a lot more here. Yeah, that's all we need. About 10 saplings. And with that, we can grow our own trees. Let's just have a look from this vantage point. Yes, yes. More saplings there. We will need to cross the mountains again on our way back. There's a cavern here. There's a creeper up there. Is this that spruce, right? I do want spruce wood as well. I do want spruce wood as well. That's gonna be awesome. Okay, first get these saplings. Thank you very much. Oh, come on. I know you want to come to me. Thank you. And uh, that. Any more? There is one. Excellent. How many do we have? 12. That's enough. Okay. Now we go for that spruce wood. We need to, we need to swim, I guess, again. <laughs> but this is the way I need to go. Okay. Let, let's just chop down that spruce wood so that we have another kind of wood and then we'll go the other way where where we need to explore okay go 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 there is a creeper somewhere here he's far away let's not care about him and chop down this spruce wood oh really Come on. Okay, much better. So, so now it should start decaying. What's that over there? Oh, that's just the mountain top. Is he coming to me? I hope not. 
Oh, there's more spruce. Do I go and yeah, let's go and chop uh, one or two more down. So that we definitely have enough. Okay, yeah, this should do one. Oh, these trees are big and I don't have any. Well, I do have a little bit of uh, stuff on me. Excellent. And uh, let's go down. And while these trees decay, maybe we can maybe we can chop down one more. Don't fall down though. And this one is smaller. Yes, this is the one we were looking for. One, two, three, four. Exactly like this. Okay. And now we can collect. This is a poppy, right? Yes. Now we can collect the saplings. No saplings here just yet. Looks like it. No, there is a sapling. Excellent. Two saplings. Perfect. There should be some more over here. And after we have that, uh, I think we still need to get the dark oak wood, which is all the way over there. Yeah, more saplings. That's beautiful. Let's help this tree a little bit. Okay. Where's all the saplings? Did I pick them up already? We have six. I would like to have ten. Okay, let's circle around again. We will need to sleep very soon too. I think we need to sleep like right now. Let's sleep uh, right next to the tree. Okay, bed number five, drop it, sleep. Alright, take the bed and take the sapling, perfect. Some nice music going and also over here. Sapling and more. Come on, how many do we have? Nine, one more, just one more. You can do it, I know you can do it. No, I guess not. Maybe the other three? Maybe the other three. Yeah, I see it already. There it is. It's ours and now we need to go down and a little bit this way. Yes, this is where we are going next. Perfect. We should be able to explore this immediate area and I should also put uh, the other map over here. I don't know if it gets filled in when, when we just uh, look at one map, if both of the maps get filled in. Uh, maybe somebody can let me know, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Okay, jump down and we will go around the mountain if possible, if not, well, we can also go like this. More birch saplings and we go this way, yeah, straight over here. And just watch for some interesting stuff, maybe new kind of animals, like these brown <laughs> sheep over here, maybe caves, maybe new kind of uh, flowers like this one. Excellent. Do I see any more pinkish flowers here? No, I think I do have these flowers. Let's have a look. Probably actually don't. Yeah, we don't. So let's take a couple of them too. If nothing else, for decoration. All right, so there's a lot of birch trees over here and huge mountains. Let's go this way a little bit. 
Okay. Run, run, run. Don't want to be here forever. Do we have these trees? Uh, trees. Flowers. Yes, we do, I think. Okay, maybe a little bit more of pink dye for us. Excellent. And some more. Right here. There was a pink flower here somewhere. I lost it. Doesn't matter. Let's continue. Okay, as you can see, when the map is zoomed only a twice, you can you can you know fill it in pretty quickly. But look at the big part of the map, right? That one will be much harder to fill in. <laughs> that one will be much harder to fill in. So we will need to go that way back. Okay, let's just uh, go up, see where we are. Um, on the top, somewhere over here. Okay, maybe maybe on the top of a tree. And let's have a look around. Come on, I know you can do it. Okay, so birch trees. I guess more swamp. There's a taiga maybe biome over there. Big, big mountains, a lot of snow. Okay, we need to go this way to get back home. I don't like to travel via mountains, but maybe we can make some shortcuts through the river. Where does this one go? That goes off the map. So we need to go this way. Uh, this is just a river, so I guess, yeah, we don't need to do this. We still have enough reach to fill in the map. Okay. That's all right. Continue like this. Maybe we'll need to climb the mountain a little bit. Are we filling the map in? We might not be doing it. Do I want to climb up here? That feels like a very stupid idea, but uh, maybe we will not have too many other options. Come on. It's not that hard. Ooh, look at all these. Look at all these trees. This is spruce though, right? It's not it's not dark oak, no. So now we should be filling in the map pretty decently. Let's uh, check. Yeah, there's nothing else here. Okay. So let's continue this way. Oh, and look at the look at the canyon. Wow. <laughs> These mountains are huge. Wow. Okay. Hello, B. Hello. <laughs> Hi. There must be a beehive or a bee nest or something like that nearby, I guess. But we don't have time for that now. How are you? You know, it's a it's a snow level. Oh, maybe. For, yeah, she must have gone here through here. You see any beehives? I don't see any. It's all right, though. Let's go there and take uh, also maybe a shortcut through the through the water. Wow. Squids forest, but no new forest. It's okay. Why are you taking damage? Was this really so high? I really need to start using those feather falling boots. We'll take them with us next time. Eight. All right there. Go inside and let's see what we can do. Just go. 
just go forward. Yeah, I think we have almost filled in the whole map, haven't we? Nice. More pink flowers? Do I want to pick up these pink flowers? Maybe I do. I don't know if I have these ones. And there's... I don't. And there must be an underground cave somewhere. Oh, and there's... Uh, there's wolves right there. Yep, there's wolves. And I did not take any... I did not take any stuff with me. Okay. And I also forgot to put the banner down. There's a zombie right here. Oh, there's a cave. There's a cave down here. Okay. I don't think he can come to us. So let's ignore him for now. Yeah. But we'll need to return for the wolves. They will make... Excellent puppies. <laughs> and there's a bee again. There's the bee again. All right. Let's go inside. And we need to turn around. This way, I believe. And let's follow the bee. And disembark somewhere over here, right? Excellent. Thank the oh no no I didn't want to hurt you B don't sting me What the heck is this Are you Are you in a boat That it was an accident I did What Oh no 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 they hurt me they hurt me Milk come on Oh, I'm so sorry, B. It was an accident. I wanted to. I wanted to take my boat. No, B. Why? Oh, I am so sad right now. I'm so sad right now. Yeah, when you hit a B, they sting you, and then they die. And that is super sad. That is super sad. I hope we can find some more somewhere. That is, that is... Oh... You don't even know how that hurts me. Well, we'll know better next time. So now we need to go a little bit this way. And also take out this part of the map. It does seem like it's working, right? This little corner over here corresponds to the other map. Yes, it does. Okay. And now we can go that way and just finish the corners of the map. Avoid the mountain if we can. We probably cannot avoid it. Oh, well, fine. Let's go up. I'm so sorry, B. What can I do to make it up to you? Or at least your friends? I don't know. There's probably nothing I can do. I'm a bad person. I'm a bad person. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a very bad person. Okay, this way to fill in the remaining part of the map and then we can return back home and I can tell you what I did off camera uh, during the home improvements. Is that dark oak or is that spruce? That is spruce. Okay, we don't have dark oak, but uh, we'll get it on the on a different adventure. Let me just check the map. I think it's completely... Yeah, it's completely filled in, I would say. Okay. Good. We didn't find any villages or anything else like that, but that is not such a big deal. I think there in the swamp is our house. Is this uh, spruce? Yeah. No, we don't have dark oak here. I think I will need to drop down somehow. 
Let's uh, take it here through the corner. Bam. Okay. And go back home. Okay. Time to return. Time to offload all the stuff. Oh, and there is the dark wood. So maybe we can make a short stop there. Yeah, that's basically the dark wood, which is right next to our home. Yeah, there's our home and there's the dark wood. Yes, let's go there. And there are some red flowers on top of trees. What? Okay, so this, this is dark wood. It's probably very well connected together. So I want to chop it down very carefully. I heard a zombie. Yeah, this is also very dark, I think. Okay, we'll, we'll just chop down something like this one and see what happens. Here and here. And now let's chop down the rest. I will need to pay attention to those zombies, definitely. Um, go here. That's a different tree, right? We have chopped down this one completely, yes. This actually gives a lot of wood as well. But unless I... Did that actually give me an apple? Wow. Unless I help them, it will not start breaking up. That's the problem. Maybe this one? This one? Oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, this one doesn't seem connected every anywhere. So let's start with this one. Like this. Up one more. Yeah. And chop it down. And it should start decaying on its own and give us uh, give us the saplings which we need to grow them. Excellent, excellent. Let's also not drop down into that cave. Let's not be stupid. All right like this. Um, am I going to be stupid? Maybe. Yeah, let's drop down. Nobody here? No, it's just a pool. Okay, <laughs> that's that's good. That's good. Okay, so take that, take all this, and we have a sapling. Sapling number two, excellent. So you can start decaying, sapling number three. Sapling number four, this is working. How about the other tree? I think the other tree is not decaying. I don't even know where it was anymore. Yeah, I don't even know where it was. That's too bad. So how many saplings do we have? Five. That might be enough. I would like to have ten, just to be sure. And we can return here at any time. We are basically at home. So yeah, we are like at home. <laughs> so I don't even need saplings, right? I have dark oak wood right next to my home. Why did I not use it? Yeah, it's like right here. OMG, what are what am I even doing here? Stupid me. Right. What else do I want to do? Eat. And is this guy the same guy or is he somebody else? No, he's the same guy. 
So now we have two maps. One map is um, fully filled in and it shows our immediate surroundings and the other one is, um, you know, not fully filled in, but it will help us to explore everything around us eventually. Okay, we'll need to put them into frames, but uh, for that we will need to create the frames and we have only five minutes. So maybe instead I can, uh, I can uh, show you what I have done. So first of all, uh, let's empty everything that is wood related over here. Dark oak logs right there. Uh, yeah, we will do it in, in groups of two. So logs and then planks, stairs, slabs, fences, sticks and signs maybe. All of this can be here. Bam. And more dark oak and then spruce can be here uh, or not. Maybe maybe the spruce will be here and there will be birch uh, i'm kind of messing it up okay let's take this away and this away and all that away this will be just wood so oak dark oak and then birch and spruce and here we will have something else if we come across it, right? Like, I don't know, the jungle wood and uh, all that kind of junk, right? Right. What do we do with the flowers? Flowers can for now be here. We have a lot of space in the food compartment. So white ones kind of pinkish ones as well, more white, blue, that's about it. Um, also the birch saplings, the dark oak saplings and the spruce saplings. Very nice. And then uh, where do we put the, the wool? Wool should be in the extra materials probably. Or it can be over here as well. I mean, I, I will probably not find any other wood anytime soon. So this is... This is uh, tools. This is drops. I mean, these are drops from... <laughs> from... Uh, maybe for wool and all colors of wool, I can have another one. Yeah, so let's put it for now over here but we'll find a better place for it yeah we'll find a better place for it and uh, this will be next to sand right so sand like this and then glass and glass okay so what i'm doing is uh, sorting stuff and you can see that uh, i have been doing that off camera as well um, i have um, uh, taken all the stuff from the branch mines um, up yeah yeah uh, let me start at the beginning right so i have uh, repositioned all the chests and all the workstations so in this corner we have the stone cutter corner with the stone cutter tool and all kinds of stone blocks uh, the bottom one is for the nether uh, building blocks. The middle one is for cobblestone and dirt and mossy cobblestone. All this cobble is from the strip mine. And then we have the rest, the diorite, and design, granite, gravel, sand, and, and everything else in the top one. Yeah, so that's the stone cutter corner. Over here we have the enchanting corner. And I moved the... Um, anvil and the grindstone over here because those I didn't like and I moved also the uh, lectern over there because I wanted a chest here the lectern doesn't have a use right now it's just alone there 
for all the bards and poets which would like to use it. Feel free, I'm not interested. Then we have a chest here for entering the nether. So flint and steel, golden helmet and bow and arrows, very important. Here is an empty corner prepared for brewing potions, just magma cream and water bottle right there. And then we have a corner for the blacksmith with the smithing table, the furnaces, blast furnaces, uh, also cooking is happening over here. Um, and then last but not least we have the uh, crafting table, the cartography table, the loom and the fletcher's table. I believe that one is not used for anything but all the wooden tables are concentrated here right next to the sticks and uh, you know iron ingots so that I can easily craft things. So yeah that's pretty that's pretty cool. Where did I put the maps right there? We'll we'll need to initiate all of them. I will do that probably later. But maybe we can have you know like every third or fourth episode uh, for that. Okay so now the remaining chests. First one is wood as you can see. The second one is smelted ores, the third one is random tools, uh, torches, uh, you know, adventure stuff. Yeah, let's call this adventuring stuff, right? And I have some home improvement stuff as well here, the remaining lanterns and chains and iron doors. Uh, by the way, lighting in the e at the inside is provided by lanterns, not by... not by... Um, these things, not by torches. So let me take one more lantern and put it somewhere over here as well. Where would we put it actually? Yeah, let's take this as well and maybe we just put it on the top here somewhere. Uh, there's one in this corner so there should be one on that corner as well. Let's put it here and the lantern over there as well. Bam. Does that work? Kinda. Yeah, it kinda works. One, two, three, four over here, by the way. And five, six. Six lanterns should do the job, I think. Yeah, that's perfect. So let's put it back, home improvement stuff. Okay, the maps I'll keep for now. And then here we have food and now also random <laughs> flowers. Yeah, that's fine. Flowers for dice. And um, here we have drops, right? Hostile mob drops, friendly mob drops and random drops from everywhere. So this is cool. Okay, now for adventuring stuff we will have the banners, the oak thingy, uh, we need the bucket full of uh, full of milk as well in just a moment. And here eggs and Apples can be here, why not? Why not? Okay, very good. So now we need an item frame for this thingy. How much time do we have? We are already over time. Um, so maybe before that, let me show you what I did also outside. I think I mentioned everything that was done inside. And outside, there is not much. I have basically Let's look around. Yeah. Oh, hello. More of you? You're gonna die right now. <laughs> I don't want you around. Wow, so many of them as well. And uh, there is no captain. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Well, in any case, what I wanted to say is uh, horses are fine, but chickens now have a much smaller pen. 
if you can even call it a pen. <laughs> Cows have been uh, slain, at least half of them, and they have been moved here. And uh, the sheep are now together with pigs, and uh, I have uh, multiplied them a lot so that we can shear them, right? Let's do that a little bit. No, we, we, I can do that off camera. And this place over here is for for new farming things like potatoes and carrots and maybe I'll move also the um, sugarcane farm over here. Yeah, yeah, I want to have them a little bit more compact. So that's what we did um, over in this side. That's okay. Uh, what else? I think that's about it. I think that's about it. So the last thing I wanted to show you is um, how we can use the sticks and what else do I need? Um, leather, right? We need leather and sticks to make frames. So something like that. Yes, one frame, second frame, we'll need a little bit more. Like this. And one, two more. One here and no, just one will be enough. Okay, let's do one. Bam, like this, okay. Put the leather back and um, we want to put this item frame right here. Bam. Excellent. And uh, how do we note uh, what's in here? Hmm. We can take this crossbow and put a crossbow there to indicate weapons and tools, probably, right? Yeah, I think so. I think so. And over here, two by two, we will have the the map because you can put it on an item frame. And maybe over there, we will have the bigger map, the one, uh, the expanded one, the zoomed out version. So let's go ahead and uh, look at our map, map number two, right? This one. So this is facing map shows to the north and we are facing north right now. This is to the swamp. Okay, so now we are looking at the correct things. So we need to turn the map around. I think we need to turn the map around actually. Well, that's going to be a little problem. But let's put those frames over here, number seven. Uh, it was on which side? OMG, I'm forgetting so much. So this is the bottom and left. And we will be going more north. You know what? I'll just put it. I'll just put it here like this on the bottom left. Yes. So number seven right here, number eight right there. And the map will go there. Yeah. And when we go out, we will see where we are. We are right there. And this is north actually and this is south yeah uh, i'll need to turn it around somehow <laughs> we'll see about it i kind of want to make the remaining blocks as well though so let me take uh, some more stuff from here and do a lot more sticks and take that out and uh, we can also sleep. Don't want bad things to happen. We are over time, but uh, let me just finish this, okay? So 
one, two, three, four, five, six more. Like this, one, two, three, four, five, six. Excellent. Put them back. Put them back. These things back. Okay, logs back. And now we position the frames. So one here, one here. Excellent. That looks good. And the zoomed out version could be over here, for example. Yeah. And the zoomed out version is looking how exactly? Hmm. So the zoomed out version actually says that we are in this area, right? Yes, we are in this corner. So let's go and do it right here. Yeah. That's fine. We are there and we will try to explore everything around here. Funny that this one was there. I'll need to figure out how that works exactly. <laughs> I'll need to figure out how that works. But we'll do that in some other episode. For now, we explore the tiny little bit of our whole world and uh, one quarter of our immediate surroundings. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like it. Let's put everything back in our inventory. Uh, don't really need the sticks, but fine. And let's call it a day here. Yeah, when we return, um, we will probably go and do that experience farm because we have 23 levels only and I want to continue enchanting a lot. So that's what we do next. Yeah, that's what we do next. I will do the farming and uh, taking care of animals, maybe a little bit of reorganization off camera. But uh, right after I'm done with that, maybe harvesting some sugar cane, we will prepare for a build of a skeleton spawner uh, experience farm. For now, I thank you very much for watching. Till next time, bye bye.